Shopper 6 already comes with a specific URL pattern for your shop, but in case you want to change it for product detail pages, landing pages, category pages and more, this is the right tutorial for you. Have fun! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Alex Sena from Shop Studio, and let's talk about this very important topic, how to change your SEO URL pattern in your shop. Alright, remember, the goal is to change those kind of URLs here. This is the one used for the product detail pages. This is an example for the category. And there's also a possibility to change it for your landing pages. To change the structure or pattern, we have to go to the Shopware 6 settings. And here you can find the settings for SEO. We click on it. and. Basically, we can immediately see the most important part, the SEO URL templates. In our particular case, we have three templates enabled, product detail pages, landing pages and category pages. Let's say for this particular tutorial that we only want to have URLs in lowercase and that we want to start our product URLs with a small p. We click here on product detail page on the input. Now we write a P and here we can see variables within those curly brackets. Here this is the one for the product name, the translated one, which is the dynamic part of the URL and we can also see the product number. It's hard to remember all the variables but here you can find some help. To get a lowercase version we have to add this pipe operator and then write lower and for the other variable to pipe and lower. Let's discuss the next example. For the landing page, we want to have a LP. Now we add with slash and again pipe and lower. And here you can see the preview of a URL template and we can see that everything is in lowercase. Let's edit the next one, the category page. We just include a small c at the start, now a slash and here we can see four part in category SEO breadcrumbs. This is basically a for loop to display a list, in this case the breadcrumbs and map it to the URL structure. We just want to have a lowercase version, so we write pipe lower and here the for loop ends. As you can see, the previews are showing our modified versions. We click now on save. Alright, to see the new pages, we have to basically re-index the whole shop. Let's update the indexes. We go back to the settings, now to the system settings. And now we click on caches and indexes. Perfect. Here on the bottom right side, we can see a button for updating them. We click on it and now we have to wait basically a little bit. If you have configured your crons correctly, maybe with the help of a developer, you can leave the screen, you can close the shop, you can make your a coffee or a tea. If you haven't configured your cron, you must stay in the administration to basically let the shop refresh the indices because there's basically a task queue and this task queue gets fetched automatically but only if you are logged in as an administrator. I have waited a few minutes. Let's check out the results. But before we do this, we click this button here, clear caches. The first thing we do is to check out the category URLs. We click here on clothing and now we can see that it worked in this particular case. We can see a small c and clothing in the lowercase version. Now we go to the main product with properties. We click on it and again we can see a small p then the product name in a lowercase version and then the product number in a lowercase version too. We have reached the end of the tutorials by now. In case you haven't done it, do not forget to subscribe to the channel or leave a comment or review below. 
We see us in the next tutorial. Bye.